the very big nope and dope of League of Legends. To counter her, pick someone like Maokai who can bind himself to her and grab on with his dear life, Lee Sin who can kick her away if she becomes trouble after turning into a big nope, and Nocturne who can shroud away her cocoon are her biggest counters. Xin Zhao for his ultimate, Udir for his chasing, and Amumu for his CC make other good counters as well. Elise is one of those champions with 6 abilities instead of 4, and 1 ultimate that allows her to transform. Her passive will grant her extra damage and lifesteal to her autos in spider form, and will grant her spider form 1 more spider link for each each ability she hits as a human. Let's take a look at her human form first. Her Q is a point click ability that deals magic damage to a single target. Her W will send out a poisonous spider that falls a target and explodes. Her E is her cocoon that will stun an enemy for up to 2 seconds but doesn't deal damage. In her spider form, her Q will make her dash to the target and deal magic damage to it. Her W passively grants her spider links extra attack speed and when activated will grant herself and her little itsy bitsy bugs more attack speed for 3 seconds. Her E as a big nope will lift her up into the air for for 2 seconds, becoming untargetable but not invulnerable and will then drop down to a target if she so chooses or to the center of the web. It can also be used in quick succession to chase down a target. As for spells, like most junglers, she'll take the smite flash combo and so will you if you're playing jungler versus her. As for power spikes, this one is actually quite simple. She has a very strong early game like most transformation champions since she get access to all of her abilities from level 3 onwards instead of level 6. Her level 3 ganks are insane so beware of their burst and CC, runic echoes enchantment goes a long way in aiding her with her burst, which is exactly what she needs in the early game, but she goes for a more tank based build with Rileys which will grant her abilities a much needed slow for chasing and stickiness. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, she needs to hit a cocoon for her combo to be pulled off, her dash as a spider has quite the low range so she won't be able to jump to you unless you're quite near her already, and her E as a spider allows her to jump to any target so don't be fooled if she jumps over a wall in the jungle, ultimately have fun doing it.